has to be done before anything else begins. Oh, not very much. Very big. Very big. Wow. Good. Very good. We needed another bucket. That you require. Mm. So there is no need of using so many, many females to breed. So you can just explain you how stand, you, you need to differentiate the two profs. Yes, you see these females are well taken care of, they yeah. are fed well yeah. and they, they are uh, swollen here because it's holding eggs. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has a distended papilla, this one, and this has the two flat openings, the mm -hmm. anal and the genital. The, the female is usually round here compared to the male. The male is usually like flat and then uh, angles. Angles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Angles. Our brooders mm -hmm. that we are going to. Look, it's to smooth wow. Wow. and wow. no injuries. Mm. It's smooth. Yeah. So at this stage is where by now you, we have to incubate your eggs, having realized that your fish are ready. And the first thing is to know whether you have all the facilities that you do require uh, during the uh, egg stripping, during the egg fertilizer, fertilization. And the first thing you require are the, all these facilities here. You require a dissecting kit that has all the facilities inside that you are going to use. You have scissors, you have your the syringes, you have the needle. You have the tweezers, all these you require once you start uh, the operation work. You require the, the pliers so that when you are removing the pituitary gland you can be able to hold your fish. Then this is the stand that you use uh, for putting your vials or the test tubes where you have put your pituitary gland. Definitely you need the acetone to preserve uh, the pituitary gland that you have already removed. Then at the extreme end we have what you call saline solution. Saline solution. Yeah. So this is the one that we normally use when you are preparing the hormonal extract. And this one is the smooth grinding. Yeah, motor and the test. Grinding the, the pituitary. The pituitary gland. Uh, when you are holding the, the gonads, you require uh, this one, it's the tissue paper for drying it when it's wet. Then you need this bowel, they need to be totally dry, you can help me here, it to make them dry, so that you don't have any contact of the water when you are fertilizing or when you are stripping the eggs, uh, both of them they require to be dry. So all these facilities, you have to make sure that you are ready with them before you enter into the exercise of egg stripping. You need uh, the, the, this uh, towel, this hand towel. Uh, yeah, and the uh, hacksaw <coughs> for cutting the, the fish via the hand when you are removing the pituitary gland. So once you have already identified that and you know you are ready, then you require to go to where your fish you put them and you check and uh, you pick them and you bring them to where you are going to put the them. One? Yeah, we can use the same one, but you need, you need a smaller towel there yeah. for holding fish. For holding fish. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. big towel here for, for handling the, the fish on the table. Yeah. You know, uh, it's uh, being operated live, so... Got your finger. These people who are dealing with animals, they cannot take you to, to their coast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
We have right. signed that we are not going to injure any animal. Mm. Yeah, we, we signed that. And I hope. Uh, oh, please sorry, watch out. Sorry, sorry. Open this. Let's see if there is a gun. Don't the other side. No, I'm sure. Okay. Then okay. this one has. Does it have? Does it have any meat? Meat. Yeah, it's only that it doesn't show. Mm. Sometimes there are males which doesn't show the, mm. the white stuff, the white meat. Really? Mm. It's, it's like that. So what you normally do, mm. uh, you have a, the saline solution that you use to mix together mm. with the meal. Mm -hmm. So that however Is very few, however few the, the, the milk could be, mm. definitely you cannot lack some. Yeah, I have not juice. finished. I think there is one other god that I have not taken. Uh, pituitary from it and preserve it. We can still dry that. We don't want this uh, blood. So we need to dry them again. So here are the, the uh, you have the left and the right lobes. lobes. Normally, the two lobes are not the same size. Mm -hmm. Usually, there is one that is smaller or, or shorter than the, the other. But now the gonads are ready. Um, we proceed. Yeah, we, we want can. to get the milk. We want to get the the eggs. The eggs. Yeah. So we need to get the eggs into a bowl, mm -hmm. dry bowl. Yeah. We strip the eggs. And then we we mix with the with the female with the with the male gonads. Okay. I think I'm okay. I'm ready. Are you we need ready? to go to. The eggs are even coming out. Yeah, they will. <laughs> they will ooze out. So uh, watch out! They don't spill on you. These are really nice eggs. You can see how green and shiny yeah. eggs. We'll take it back to the pond and allow it to recover. Yes, I think it's over now. You think so? Yes. If you looked around all the corners. Yes. I think all of them are okay. And you need to have your saline solution. The, the, the feather uh, for mixing. These eggs are golden. Yes. The white stuff. I don't see white stuff. Although I thought it had. Uh, Can you check the other meal? What does the saline solution do? Yeah. It creates an environment for fertilization to take place. Oh, okay. Yeah. We need the other meal quickly. Turn to me so that if they end it, they can move. And as they can, they can mix. Mix, yeah. We are creating life now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are now fertilizing, mm. we're making the environment conducive. Yeah, it's, it's fertilizing. Okay. No, it, we are just enhancing fertilization. fertilization. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And this one now this should go to the hatching meat. tray. Right. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, this uh, we put, fish, we just use this simple. Like this. When they start jumping, they will jump out. We use put this simple egg here. in the cubit. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So at today's level, it's whereby you spread your eggs. First, you wash the excess milk, you pour it out. So that once when you are spreading your eggs, it doesn't transfer all that milk into your incubator. So you just pour your eggs slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly along the net. 
you make sure that you spread the eggs very well so that they occupy every area of your egg tray. Then as these level ones you've done that you need to remove all these uh, Excess um, yeah. gonad material. material. Mm -hmm. So that once they are left here, in most cases they start rotting. And they are infected with bacteria. Yeah. You realize your eggs cause mortality. Mm -hmm. It can cause them not to have children. Well, uh, yes. Um, if if they are infected, they will they will not hatch. Mm -hmm. yeah, they will die. Okay. okay. Having done that, now then you need to create what you call a flow through system, where the water now comes in and the water goes out. To aerate the eggs aerate. because they get oxygen through the membrane. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, when you want to remove the egg tray, mm -hmm. you just turn it like this so that all the hatchlings that have already hatched could all go down mm -hmm. the incubator from there now you lift up your egg tray mm -hmm. and all these white stuff you see here they are dead eggs and others are eggshells egg shells. Mm -hmm. so you need to do it slowly so that you don't put all these dead eggs into your incubator mm -hmm. otherwise when they mix together with the hatchlings all your hatchlings it's easy for them to die due mm -hmm. to the water quality issue. If this goes down, these eggs start rotting mm -hmm. and the eggs start decomposing. Mm -hmm. You have oxygen problem okay. yeah, and the infection of fungal from these dead eggs. Mm -hmm. So that is the way we normally do it here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we normally also use this black material to cover so that they are protected from direct sunlight. Yeah. So that is the reason why so you can you see. The water, the water yeah, we need to put the water running in and out so that the water is quality in the incubator is throughout good water quality. Okay, okay so you can help cover the cyst cover, cyst cover. Yeah, also the water yeah. should be running in and out. Yeah, catfish are photophobic. They don't love light, so, don't like light. Yeah. so you have to put them in a darker environment. Mm -hmm.